<sighs> I did not think I would be making this video this quick this year. Last year for Black Ops 4, I didn't make a review because I thought the game was very scumbaggy. It really manipulated the consumer, which is what I am at heart and what most of you are who watch this video, which is what I try to relate my YouTube video with. And so today I make this video really just really just out of like disheartening and, and really just out of kind of being really upset. But at the same time, I'm, I'm over it. I'm, I'm over Call of Duty. And it's crazy to say because I've built my gaming career on Call of Duty. I've spent the last 12 or 13 years grinding Call of Duty. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, y'all need to get on this black cherry white claw. If you're 21 and above, all right? Only if you're 21 and above. But nonetheless, it's a sad day. It really is because I really do think this is my last time playing Call of Duty. Now, don't get me wrong. I am looking forward to some of the stuff that they're bringing to the game. And I, I don't know if I'm going to completely really stop playing. I really thought it through these last couple of days. And I sat down really hard and I talked with some people, some of the great friends that I've had that I've had over the years. I mean, they were with me through Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, and just all the games that I've played that I enjoyed and that I hated. And I have to say, like, I just, I just, it's time, but it's, it's like not time. Because when it comes to Call of Duty, and you probably clicked on this video because you're a Call of Duty fan. But when it comes to this series, we have grown so accustomed to certain things in the game that now that we're seeing the game really take these leaps and these bounds forward, but also hold itself back, it's almost like they're doing it on purpose. And at this point, I really think that they are. And that's what this review and everything about the review is. Now I'm going to refrain from talking about Spec Ops because Spec Ops is utterly broken and I think it's the most piece of shit thing that any Call of Duty developer, any Call of Duty has ever put out and that's a whole nother conversation we could go into. I just think it's shit and I'm never going to play it, it's never going to happen and I'm just being honest with you, it's not happening for me, I'm never going to go there. So that's one third of the game that is just gone. And before we hop into the multiplayer, I really did a video talking about the campaign. I played the campaign and I went through the campaign and I talked about how much I enjoyed it, how much I liked it and how much fun it was for me and how much of a challenge it was for me playing it. But I want to revert on some of the topics and some of the things that I talked about in that video because it was my instant reaction and I didn't really get to sit down and do a lot of research on what the campaign was about. Now, I know it's a bit of a ramble for this video. I know you guys are gonna be like, yo, AZ, you're all over the place, but just hear me out. I don't do this often. This is just a video to get it off my chest, right? This review is just me trying to come to grips with just how this Call of Duty was made, how this game plays, and how just utterly pathetic these developers, this company that Activision has become, and just how crazy it is that I sat through almost six seven years of just pathetic games that these guys put out and i have finally finally broken the abuse cycle that activision infinity war treyarch and i really won't say sledgehammer because they don't really bother me as much have brought me and i have to tell you guys that it's a good feeling it really is a good feeling to to get away i really did some meditation I went out into the city, I went to some nature, I walked around, I got to feel, I got to meet some new people, I got to talk to other gamers as well, and we really just connected on another level, and I love that, man. That's really what life is about, and when I play video games, that's what it's for, and that's what I do these things for. You see, I'm not a big creator. I'm not somebody who comes out here and clickbaits a lot. I really try to refrain from clickbaiting, unless it's to draw in the attention and really get you to watch the video which I think is okay. I, I just want to make sure that my videos are always to the point and they're about what I'm talking about. And that's what gaming was for me. That's what it is for me still. But I got lost along the path. You see, I wanted to be something that was 
bigger, something that was better, something that was greater than just what I was or what gaming was providing me. I wanted to provide an avenue for others and myself, not of escape, but of liberation to show you that video games can be a positive benefit in our life if we use them correctly. But I was going about it so wrong that it was like the more and more I tried, the more and more I felt like I failed. I tried so many things. I tried making montages and I still do enjoy making montages and there will be some that come out. But I enjoyed making different style of videos over and over again and it all centered around this one game of Call of Duty because Call of Duty was what got me into this YouTube scene. It's what got me to love this gaming content creation stuff that has just blown up over time. And now that I'm really taking a step back from it and I'm surveying the landscape and, and seeing all these games and seeing how the, the world is now within video games and how video games is just impacting the world, it's humbling, but it's also aggravating as fuck. Because the only games that I can really sit down and think that I cannot stand with my, with my, just all of my heart. Like if I hate anything, I try to refrain from hating things and I don't condone hating anything. It just doesn't work out in life. But I truly hate Call of Duty. And it's not because the game developers, trust me, they have their own rights and their own gripes I can go through and list. As far as the publishing and the developing goes, we can make a whole nother separate tons of videos on. But I hate it because I can't break it for myself. Or at least I couldn't break it for myself. You see, when you spend so much time trying to be great at something, like basketball or football or soccer or anything else in your life, it doesn't matter what it is, you really want to hone the craft. And for the last eight years, really the last three years, but the last eight years combined, I have been honing this craft of being good at Call of Duty and making these videos that circle around Call of Duty to the best of my abilities. Sure, I could have made them better. Sure, I could have played better. Sure, I could have made better decisions. But in hindsight, I really feel like I did give it my all and I really tried. So when I'm not feeling the same love as a consumer back from the developers or the publishers or not even that, just from the community in general, it's very hard to keep going. And that's what this review is about. This is what all of this is about, is that Call of Duty Modern Warfare is the most hated game that I have ever played. And I hyped this game up. I was so happy that they were going back to the modern setting. I was so happy that they were going back to telling the stories in a gritty, realistic, gruesome way, even though the story is just nothing but propaganda spit in your face. And we can just talk about all the white helmet stuff or the highway of death or whatever they called it, how they flipped the narrative. But for me in gaming, I know that that's gonna happen because it's fake. I know Call of Duty is fake. When Call of Duty wants to step into the realm of realism and tell a real story, that's when I don't wanna play Call of Duty anymore. I didn't get drugged into Call of Duty to play a realistic game. I didn't get drugged into Call of Duty to play some game that's gonna tell me about history. I got drugged into Call of Duty for the story setting. I got drugged into Call of Duty for the first person shooter smoothness, fast paced action that it brought. But I also got brought into Call of Duty because it felt like these people wanted to really show what a great game could be and how much it could change so many people's lives. I mean, I don't know if you guys were around in Modern Warfare 2. And if you were, you definitely remember the Dietrich's commentaries the hex commentaries, the nade shot commentaries, how these people just started off just making the same videos that I'm making now and they're blown up. They're, they're great at things. I mean, I remember KSI making Modern Warfare 2 videos and he's a boxer now. That's just the humility of what games do for all of us. Sure, we can say YouTube as well and I'm definitely gonna give YouTube its credit, but I mean, Call of Duty really did this for a lot of people. And I was hoping it would do it for me. But what I was looking for was something completely out of touch with what these developers and what these publishers wanted. So by just starting off with this and just getting into the review, honestly, I mean, I've kind of talked about the review, but really getting into it now. I have to say that Modern Warfare is by far the worst boots on the ground Call of Duty I've played. I haven't played 6v6 almost at all since the second week of the game. I haven't enjoyed a single day 
of playing the game. I haven't got off in a day. <laughs> I can't even think of a day that I've gotten off thinking, yo, I had a good time on this game. Or I can't even remember getting off the game and saying, yo, I can't wait to play this tomorrow. I can't wait to put in 24 hours again. I did a 24 hour grind of the game and I thought like maybe just because I did it, I'll just feel bad or my body's just feeling bad because it was just a 24 hour grind. But I've played games 24 hours through such as Red Dead, AC Odyssey, Mortal Kombat and loved every second of these games. Now granted, they're flawed in their own right, but I want to come back and play them. I want to spend time on them. Even if it's just for a couple of seconds, I feel good about it. And that's what really just sucks about Call of Duty Modern Warfare is that I don't want to come back and play this game. I literally got to level 155, which is the gameplay you're seeing. And I was just like, yo, I am so thankful. I'm done. I'm done with the game. I, I feel like I've completed it. I feel like I'm just, there's nothing else for me to do. There's nothing for me to go and seek. There's nothing for me to feel accomplished about. It's just not fun. And that's what gaming was for me. It was something fun, something invigorating, something I could spend my time on that nobody else could do like I could. And for the sixth, seventh year in a row, I sit back and I look at myself and I say, yo, you're a fucking idiot because you're spending all of your time when you could be playing different games and you could be doing so much better content. I mean, I spent the last week playing Super Smash and I had the time of my life and I'm dog shit at it. I'm a fucking noob. I'm fucking garbage at it. And yet I'm having a lot of fun because I'm trying to get better. And that's the stuff that Call of Duty, Fortnite, Apex, these shooting games, these, these games that are out right now, they're not capitalizing on it. I'm a noob in Smash. I want to improve in Smash because I suck. My friends kick my ass at Smash. I just went over there tonight and I got my ass handed to me. But it seems like these developers don't understand how to really make the average consumer work for it. And it sucks. It really does suck. And that's really the only thing I can say about this game and say about the review for this and, and give my thoughts on it. Sure, I could break down how the guns work, how the campaign is, how the multiplayer is. But you guys have heard me talk about this already. My final review of this game, and I'm going to take a white claw sip for this is this really is probably the end of Call of Duty. And it's fitting. It came up on Modern Warfare and it ends on Modern Warfare. Now, Joe Seacott and anybody, if you ever see this video, it can improve if you guys would just pay attention to us. I would come back and play these games and play this game and love it if you would just listen to us. But the shit you've been saying, the stuff you've been talking about, the bullshit you've been spewing? Do you think I'm gonna give a fuck about your game or spend money on a battle pass if you don't give a fuck about me? <laughs> you got another thing coming, man. I don't know, man. Maybe it's a good thing for me to have found this out. Maybe my content and my gaming channel will grow. But my final verdict on this game, Modern Warfare, is that it was literally everything that I hated in one Call of Duty. It has some ups, it has some downs, but at the end of the day, this was the game that sealed Call of Duty's fate for me. I appreciate you guys watching. I know this was a different type of video that you guys are used to. I just had to get it off my chest. Uh, we're going to be moving with some different content coming up. We're going to see what happens Tuesday with the game. We're going to hopefully see if it'll get better. Uh, if it doesn't, I'm just going to continue to make different videos. It's your boy Zai AZ. Bless up. I'll catch you.